Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about sleep, shutdown and restart and the difference about these in our Back to the Basics episodes where we look at the basics of Windows 8 and of computers in general but really surrounding Windows 8.1. Now a lot of people just use one thing and it's shutdown. It's the only thing they use. They rarely use anything else. Actually, they don't even know what the other uh, three options or the other two options except uh, shutdown. What they mean. Your computer has, um, first of all, two ways of shutting down and one of restarting itself with a brand new Windows session. Um, maybe you hear often you know that when you do changes when you install a new driver or a new program uh, common practice tells you to you know restart your computer make sure that it's going fine and you know that it applies all the changes and that's what we call restart restart actually what it does is simply shut down and remove windows completely off of the memory and restarts windows like brand new as if you shut down the computer and press the power button to start it over again. Usually when something goes wrong or if you have error messages suddenly or maybe a program crashed and you're wondering, well, I'd say that 90% of all problems are solved just by doing a restart. So all you have to do is go into your power and click the restart button instead of shut down which will prevent you from having to press the power button to actually start it. Um, it works 99.9999999% of the time and the reason I don't say 100 is because there are very rare cases where a shutdown is better than a restart but um, you know it's just so so um, you know I, I don't know how how often I've seen such a problem. So um, for the technical aspect, we can say that a restart is as good as a shutdown and pressing the power button to restart the computer. So, um, you know, a restart is the good thing to do if you have problems or, you know, if you've been using your computer for many hours and you find that maybe it's a little sluggish, um, even though it works well, you know, a restart can uh, sometimes, you know, just make sure that all the processes work correctly because Windows restarts and also removes from memory the different software and the different settings that you might have used uh, during your uh, computer session. So that's restart. Then we have shutdown. Shutdown is very, very, um, you know, basic, understandable. It really shuts off your computer. So what it does, it removes Windows from memory and in tells your computer okay you can shut down the power and because I'm gonna go uh, you know I'm gonna stop working now and this is an option that is probably the one that most people use um, if you are one of the people that actually mm, puts their computer to sleep because it, um, there's a reason why people put the computer to sleep it's faster to restart um, one thing that you should know, I think common practice and with the years of usage and the years of being a tech guy, uh, my general recommendation would say that at night before you go to bed, I think shutting down your computer is not a bad thing because it uh, first of all removes Windows completely, the sessions, the things you've been doing and restarts a fresh new Windows session uh, when you wake up in the morning for example. Uh, shutdown, of course, really, really shuts off the computer and um, especially if you're on battery, well, shutdown will prevent your battery from draining. Uh, it really shuts it off and you'll have to press the power button to start it again. Last option, sleep. Sleep is not well understood for a lot of people. Sleep is close to a shutdown, but it's not a shutdown. What it does is it tells um, it, it saves your session on the hard drive. So it's going to save all the information needed to restart your session and it's going to keep part of it active in RAM memory. 
and it's going to shut down, but it doesn't shut down completely. Um, a shutdown does take out the power for the motherboard and pretty much everywhere uh, in the computer. Um, technically, it's not totally right what I just said because the motherboard always has a little bit of power on it, but it shuts down the main circuits. In sleep mode, what it does is shut down, uh, it's, it's going to shut down really the most important parts of your computer hardware, but keep some of it alive so that when you want to come back to your computer, it's actually going to boot up. And it's going to boot up in the same state that it was when you actually went to sleep mode. Meaning that if you had a program open, if you had some settings changed, if you had, uh, let's say you're multitasking and you had Word and an Internet Explorer window together, uh, when you actually come back from sleep, everything's going to be there as if you've never uh, actually left the computer session. And the main reason, well, two main reasons why you want to use sleep is either to keep your computer in the same state it was when you left it. But a lot of people actually use it because it's much, much faster to boot back into Windows than the shutdown. And the reason why is because part of Windows is still loaded in memory and reactivated very, very fast because the computer doesn't have to, you know, start from scratch and load Windows and then your programs and your settings. It just has everything already there. All it has to do is bring it back to life. So coming back from sleep is faster and I've seen a lot of my clients actually use sleep instead of shutdown because they uh, find that it's too long to wait for the computer to um, boot up and sleep mode is okay you know uh, but there are two things that I might say about sleep mode on some computer hardware um, sometimes sleep mode prevents the computer from really coming back to life correctly um, I've seen many cases of you know drivers not coming back well from sleep so the computer is slow or buggy or you know maybe a blue screen can appear if that happens it means that your computer might have some problems with sleep and it is possible and it's very it's a very complex thing uh, some computers never never come back well from sleep others come back well once you've updated drivers and you know played with the settings and some just do it really well. They go to sleep, come back, no problem. For example, my Toshiba I'm using for this video comes back from sleep very, very well every time it is in that sleep mode. And my other Toshiba that I have that's like five years old never, never worked really well in sleep because when you come back from sleep, it the Wi-Fi never, never could connect. So I always had to restart anyway. So never use sleep on that other machine. So, you know, it's different on each computer. Um, one thing, if you use sleep, I do think it is a good idea to do a restart or a shutdown and press a button to restart the computer at least once a day to make sure that, you know, you have a uncorrupted Windows session and make sure that everything runs smooth. So that's the difference. Sleep, shutdown, and restart. Um on Windows 8.1. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online and um, also uh, why not give, the, give us a thumbs up? Do you like our videos? Um, maybe you have a feature of Windows 8, a problem, something that you need help. Uh, ask away. If it's not me, I've noticed that a lot of people seem to be helping each other on the channel, which is pretty cool. Uh, if I can, I'll help you or even make a video of it and uh, hopefully you enjoy our channel and we'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.